you have like a ballpark that you typically want mm -hmm. people to shoot for for added sugar? And can we differentiate, I guess, between sugar, like table sugar and these more quote unquote, healthier varieties? And this is an excellent point. So when I'm speaking about this, I'm really referring to kind of cane sugar, table sugar, uh, the, the processed version. And we want to make, make, it, make it clear to people that our bodies need sugar. So we should not be excluding it in every which way and form. We, we just want to get it from better sources. So uh, a, a quarter cup of blueberries, totally different from um, a candy bar or, you know, um, a fruited yogurt, which has the added sugar. It's not just from the fruit. So I think looking for that, or for example, an orange has the fiber and the nutrients that you need, but orange juice in the store has the fiber removed and often added sugar. So very different products so to get it from the healthier sources and still consuming sugar. I, I generally offer people, uh, ask people to Google the American Cardiology Association. They have some guidelines around things like uh, sugar, salt, fiber, lots of actual, actual good data and take it from there. You know, we are highly unique. Our microbiomes are like a thumbprint. So we react differently, but having some sugar in your diet is important. Don't exclude it entirely, but get it from, from better sources. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with carbohydrates, you know, uh, carbohydrates are not just bread and pasta. You get carbohydrates and vegetables, but it's, it's the ones that you consume um, that are more complex and it's a different product than um, a piece of just sliced bread.